del autor publicado en Harvard, Business Week, TechCrunch, VentureBeat y GigaOM es Larry Young. This is Lecture 17, Crossing the Chasm by Disc Jockeying Other Chasms, by DJing up other chasms that have previously been crossed to help us get momentum from other innovation chasms that have been crossed. So like a tidal wave uh, pushes uh, all ships higher during high tide, that's how we want to DJ up and disc jockey previous chasms that have been crossed. This is Lecture 17, CS183 Edit. E for edit, we're editing a dead startup. We're practicing on a cadaver. We're editing this cadaver. So we're staring at the chasm that was never crossed by the team that has left, gone away, died, gone to grad school, uh, taken up a job uh, at their safety opportunity. How are you going to cross the chasm? And that's a question. How are you going to cross the chasm? So when you're a talented young Uh, Jedi like Anakin here is in this diagram what he is faced with is having to go to a higher elevation and he's also making the other huge mistake which is that he's actually fighting his mentor Obi-Wan Kenobi so Obi-Wan Kenobi is in the higher elevation looking down at Anakin Anakin will jump If you haven't seen this movie yet, this is the plot spoiler. He's gonna jump, Anakin's gonna jump. He's gonna lose three of his limbs. Two arms and one of his legs are gonna get lopped off in one fell swoop because he's gonna be airborne. And this is also another bit of insightful backdrop. Obi-Wan Kenobi got pushed to the top of that little uh, lava hill by Anakin himself. So he was using the negative momentum of someone trying to hurt Obi-Wan Kenobi, which was Anakin when they're fighting, use that momentum to push him up over that hill to get to that higher altitude. That's what it means to cross the chasm from the right. That's what it means to use the energy around us. So I ask again, how are you planning on crossing this chasm? I feel like Obi-Wan Kenobi when I fail and I see you guys as my Padawans, and there's the puppies, there's the Victoria's Secret for editing your credit report by doing credit-related activities, uh, such as the shopping cart hat on Credit Karma. There is the Cal Berkeley optometry edit, where they don't, their school doesn't have a placement office. The crossing the chasm from the right by disc jockeying previous chasms that have been crossed. So we're going to tackle each of these in morsel little tidbits so that way the clarity of this lecture, lecture 17, can in fact uh, tidal wave you and energize you into successfully editing anything, any startup. Trying to reach escape velocity by somehow mustering up enough momentum to escape gravity's pull or to escape inertia's uh, inertia is really hard. Getting escape velocity is super, super hard. That's what, that's what DJing in other chasms means, is that we're trying to realize that our attempt to cross the innovation chasm is not inside of a vacuum. It's not blocked off single chasms that are in an attempt to be crossed. They are waves and waves and waves. And to realize that the startup that we are working on had a prequel. It didn't have a prequel uh, that was an official prequel, but it had things that preceded it. So we were trying to gather up this kind of energy. And that's what is going on specifically in this attempt to cross the chasm to sometimes detrimental results. In Anakin versus Obi-Wan, it makes me as a mentor incredibly sad that this is actually a dynamic that occurs. 
where the mentee has a massive amount of early success from top schools and has never ever experienced failure or disappointment. That's why the whole idea of CS183E is to not fight against that lack of disappointment, lack of uh, failure. It's to actually capitalize on it by succeeding again in the face of specific failure, not your own failure, the failure of a previous Anakin, a failure of a previous mentee, not one of my mentees because all my mentees do super well, but in a mentee of under YC where a YC founder would scream, oh, do things that don't scale or uh, gain early traction, Sam Altman, or many companies showed early promise and profitability early on. So those mentees had a disconnect with their mentor and Anakin is having a disconnect with Obi-Wan. So I hope that you're connecting with not necessarily me, but maybe me, but definitely with my mentor, Steve Blank, Eric Ries, Mark McCormack, uh, Steve Blank again, Tom Kosnick, uh, Engineering 145. So connecting up with these mentors helps you absolutely cross the chasm. Also Jeffrey Moore, because he wrote the book, Cross the Chasm. I wish you lots of luck in attacking, being a mentee, doing editing. A lot of people think that once there's a anointment of, oh, congratulations, you got an OIC, or congratulations, you got in a Harvard Business School or uh, GSB Stan at Stanford. There is no one anointment, there's no one degree, even at Stanford, that can give you to have you escape having to do distribution work, having to do sales and promotion work. It's just the truth where let's say you take a break from your startup, you escape to grad school, all of the work for distribution is all still waiting for you. All the work of trying to DJ up a chasm to cross the chasm from the right, hashtag CTC FTR, all that work is still waiting for you. You're still gonna need to check every box and you're gonna need to do it. You can't just hire a VP of sales. That's what we talked about in lecture 15, lecture 11, which is hiring out causes the startup death spiral flat spin to C. People have had questions about what a flat spin to C is. A flat spin to C is where you're trying to fly your supersonic airplane like a helicopter. It doesn't work when it goes tail end, tail end. It just spins along the the, the Z axis plane doesn't it it literally is a flat spin off the sea where it massively loses altitude and falls like a brick and that's what a flat spin is to see that's what happens when you when you lose uh, integrity of a flight trying to to take off and to gain altitude that's what crossing the chasm is is if in the analogy of drowning, if you're a surfer and the waves are pulling you under, you have to conserve your energy and go with the wave that's pulling you under so that when the wave stops pulling you under, now you've got 15 yards to swim up to the surface. I'm not a surfer, but I understand fluid dynamics and that's what happens when you drown is you spend your energy on the, the pull down and you don't have enough energy to get back up. So. So that's what taking that negative energy, that's why he embedded that video because Obi-Wan Kenobi took that negative energy from his mentee that went wayward and he took that momentum and he shot himself and propelled himself backwards up to a higher altitude. That's how Obi-Wan Kenobi beat a more talented Jedi, young Jedi, uh, who was younger and stronger than him. That's what I want you to be. I want you to make the transition into becoming an Obi-Wan Kenobi on your own. Tuck is a great business school. Uh, it's at Dartmouth and I love Tuck. I think it's Amos Tuck School of Business. Some people think every MIT grad is successful. Uh, not the ones that have Asperger's. Nobody likes to eat Asperger's 24-7, seven days a week. Asperger's is also the the disease symptom that's pervasive in Silicon Valley where super smart people kind of act like an ass. I don't know how they got to Asperger's. I think it's also a guy 
name Asperger. And he was so notoriously an ass that his name was Asperger's. So they were like, oh, that's a triple entendre now. You're an ass, your name's Asperger's, and now we're gonna name a disease after you, being a jerk. I thought every Harvard grad was successful. Same thing, ditto, ditto the MIT, ditto Tuck, ditto YC. Double entendre with about a half a dozen, actually almost seven meanings is roller chain. So it's like roller chain, which is frictionless chain that conveys energy by and between. That's what we want chasms to do, the peaks and valleys. We want to be able to have that as a, a tidal energy, as a fluid dynamic energy, like a droplet that hits water that sends waves and waves. We want to ride that wave forward. We don't want to just exist in our own little chasm. That's what DJing in a previous chasm, that's what disc jockeying the innovation chasm means in a nutshell, is we want to roll with the misfortune. We want to roll and roller forward with trying to take the energy and excitement that people have for puppies or Shalom Bao and turn that into curiosity about frictionless power conveyance between two points via roller chain, C-H-A-I-N. And roller chain is where your grandfather has a business selling Shalom Bao on a freaking food cart and then saving up enough money to make something more complicated, buying machinery, fixing machinery, selling bikes at 1307, fixing up bikes, and then eventually fixing up an airplane, making an airplane, inventing aerospace engineering. That's what Roller Chang is. Sequentially succeeding and initially not failing because we're practicing on a cadaver, DJing up previous chasms. Postmortems, uh, using the innovation using the disc jockey methodology, we are simply going to be editing up people's uh, lost and left and forgotten footage. And the, the mortifying, horrifying thing is people used to take pictures of the dead. And these pictures would capture uh, a state of mind. That's what we're doing with CS-183E Lecture 17 is we're capturing the state of mind of of being able to to DJ up just like a song uh, a set of experiences that weren't so positive for a previous startup. We're taking those negative experiences or experiences of BK BK stands for bankruptcy and eliminating that bankruptcy, eliminating by editing that startup specialized form of bankruptcy, which is assignment before assignment for benefit of creditors ABC okay you're at lecture 17 and if you think editing a startup is crazy or impossible or incredibly difficult you're sort of correct uh, doing a little bit of distribution sort of correct so this is going to be a slam dunk thing for you to do and this stays nicely with the Jedi motif which will bookend lecture 17 which is you want to be like a Jedi and be able to edit any credit report and add in positive information. Anyone can do it. It's super easy to do. It's super easier not to do it. So you are going to take any credit report from anybody, even your own credit report, and you're going to edit and augment and add positive things to it. So this will build your confidence because up till now, I don't know what you've done in the previous, we're on the 17th lecture right now. There's only three more left in the 20 lecture series for CS23 edit. So build your confidence by editing one credit report and reach out to me. In fact, don't even reach out to me because some of you get shy about doing it. Write this down for an edit letter of explanation. Just type in Larry Chang credit score letter of explanation. Anyone can lick a stamp, self-adhesive stamp, you just adhere to the upper right of a number 10 envelope, and Google the phrase letter of explanation. You can edit any credit report.